this video, I'm going to show you guys this cute, adorable wagon. Oh my goodness, I love it, love it, love it. Really perfect for like a sunroom or a porch or a garden. Look how cute it is. And the little thing that you pull, yeah, it, uh, well, I'll just show you when I can use my other hand. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so y'all, for this little handle, I just want to show you how cute this is. You can do it. You can straighten it out long ways or you can pull it in but how cute is this i love it i just i just had to stop for a moment so i could show y'all that i seen another video by araceli chan to kick off the spring flower decor series <laughs> so that definitely got me in the mood for some flowers uh oh the same okay. so, so that now my basket is dry it's not the prettiest one in I mean, I painted it, you know, <laughs> but picked up this basket at Dollar Tree. It was originally blue. I spray painted it white. There's a ton of baskets that would probably work for this, but this is the one that I chose. And what I'm going to do is use one of these round floral foam pieces. And that's also at Dollar Tree. And I'll just cut it up into a bunch of pieces and I ended up making eight pieces out of it and then I'm going to take my flowers and I have a mixture of spring filled color flowers like all kinds of colors and white flowers just white roses actually I had seven bundles of the colored spring filled flowers and five bundles of white roses so I only used one of the floral foams. I thought I would need more, but I didn't. And I'll just stick my flowers randomly in there. I don't do it in any certain order, but I do add white flowers in every single bundle, at least a couple of them, if not more. And when I get that finished, well, I kind of lay it in the basket as I go just to see how it feels out. And it feels out great. So after that, then I take them all back out and I start running hot glue on each of my little pieces and gluing them to the very bottom of the white basket. Also had a little bundle of the green and so I just cut it up and start, you know, sticking it in uh, my little basket kind of randomly and just gluing it to the bottom of the basket as well. I'll be using this burlap I found in the floral section of Dollar Tree. And I picked this one out because it's got a cute design. But anyway, what I'll be using is some hot glue to apply this. And I go completely around. <clears throat> and I notice that you could still see a little bit through this. And because it's going to be sitting outside, I knew with the sun shining on it that the possibility would be higher for you to be able to see through it. <laughs> so I went around it another time and there was more than enough to do that. So I just actually kept going around with it till I ran out. Now I'm about to work on my wheels and at Dollar Tree they have little plastic um, saucer plates so you could use that if you wanted to but I just had um, some embroidering rings left over from a lot of projects so I'm going to use that and these are actually the ones that has the tabs on the outside of them and I usually use the one on the inside that doesn't. These are the medium rings and um, a pack of dowels from Dollar Tree and these dowels from Dollar Tree are the perfect size for this embroidering ring and so what I'm going to do in, is just kind of lay them in an X and glue them into place and I'm going to glue all four of them like that. I'll be using these wine glasses out of the wedding section of Dollar Tree and you can kind of twist the bottom it comes right off and then you can put them back together all I'm going to be using is the bottom part and this is perfect because the dowels go right in that so what I'm going to do is fill the center with Gorilla Hot Glue and then I'm going to stick the dowel in it and let it dry I've done two like that, gluing the wine glass bottom and the dowel together. And on the other two, I'm just gluing the wine glass bottom for now. And then I'll go back and add the dowel inside the other end of the wine glass piece. 
Okay, so now it's put together and I'm just going to set it upright just to see how it sits. And I love it. So I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. This one is silver from a project a week ago, actually. So you can see the center of it a lot better than you can the clear one so i wanted to be sure to show you guys this and so when you stick the dowel in it you can see the glue kind of coming up so it really grabs on to that dowel for the little hubcaps the only thing i had on hand that would work is these lids to the solo cups or condiment cups i painted them white and then i used some spray adhesive from dollar tree and then i had some glitter so i went over it with um, some of the glitter I have. I just glued that to the center of our X. For our little handle, I'm gonna be using a selfie stick that I got out of the cell phone section of Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna paint it white. And I'm also gonna use spray adhesive and glitter on the center of it. And I end up using some acrylic paint that I had to, and I use that on the top handle and the part where your cell phone goes in right here where the top of the handle and the metal part comes together I just want to get a smooth cut so how I done that was I had plenty of paint on my brush and so I held my paintbrush still with one hand and on with the other hand I just turned it so now I have a smooth line around my little handle and then I just paint the other part of the selfie stick that you actually like put your cell phone in. Add some paint to my little spokes in the wagon wheel or the dowels to match the uh, handle to our wagon wheel. So now I'm ready to put everything together and what I'm going to do is just flip it over and see where I want to put my wheels and there's these little markings and they look like L's and they're on all four corners so that I would glue you know this perfectly and evenly I just kind of align my dowels right along with that on both sides and that just worked out perfect I love that those markings are on the back of these baskets Before I put all this together, um, this little tag here sticking up on the selfie stick is in the way, so I just snipped it off. And these storage baskets have the little holes, so I just pull the burlap up and you'll be able to easily find the center because there's this little tab. And uh, I just kind of run it in there and glue it. And you're going to have to like hold it for several seconds. And I add some more glue to it and to secure it and make it more permanent and stable and steady I added zip ties on both sides of the selfie stick so it wouldn't you know go anywhere or fall off you will be able to run your zip tie through a hole in the basket and then through the center of the selfie stick and I mean, I pulled mine really, really tight, and I know it's secure, but I added one on the other side just to make double sure. So that is it. It was so easy to do, and it's so cute. I love it, love it, love it. So if you like it, <laughs> be sure to give me a thumbs up. Y'all, that helps me out so, so much. And <laughs> if, you, if you like this video and would like to see... Uh, more floral videos just let me know i'll be glad to do that or if you have any suggestions let me know so and i do have another uh i do have some suggestions i'm working on <laughs> this quote is from weenie ford and her says don't let anyone steal your joy that is so awesome weenie thank you for sharing that and if you know of a quote that has inspired you feel free to leave it in the comments below Thank you again. You are just so wonderful. Blessings and love you. Bye.